No, whenever you go to the tourist spot, so you'll get different experience. Most travelers' products are first sold and produced and consumed later. So on the base of demography, so what type of customers are coming to our product? Hello my dear students, I am Rajay sir, Faculty Department of Commerce and Management, Vidya Ashram First Trade College, Mysuru, a Temple of Excellence. My dear students, in today's session we are going to discuss on Management of Service. The subject name is Management of Service for Second Sem BV and the topic is Tourism Service. In the previous session we are also discussing the same topic and let's continue the topics. Next one, Perishability. What are the characteristics of tourism industry? So first one, Perishability. What do you mean Perishability? So we cannot, you know, consume so we cannot store the tourism service and we can consume we cannot consume later like products so for example products if you can go to the you know hotels if you go to malls and all you can purchase the product and later you can store for some time and you can consume later but here in tourism service providing of service and also consumption of service has to be happen at the same time so we cannot no we cannot store the tourism service next one so if you go to you know any places like this see place all peoples are watching you no know, waterfalls but whatever the experience they are getting so they cannot store the experience so have they have to visit and provision of service and consumption of service has to be happen at the same time at the same place and also we cannot bring the you no know, tourist places to our home so we have to visit the tourist places and enjoy the tourism service next one the tourism and the travel industry are consumed as they are produced for example if you go to you know bus or government bus facility or it may be private you know, transportation facility so we cannot store the transportation facility we have to you know the provision of the transportation facility whatever the driver drives the car so we have to sit in the car and we have to consume the service at the same time when it is produced or when it is provision next one the hotel rooms and cable car seats cannot be warehoused for future sales so for example travel service or it may be you no know, service in the hotel industry whatever the service room service or it may be other service and also it may be experience when you go to the tourist spot so it has to be provided and consumed at the same place and same time when the hotel rooms is not booked tonight you cannot take tonight and sell tomorrow for example if i book the hotel room today i cannot go to tomorrow and get the service i have to know whenever i book the at what time i have booked the hotel room so i have to go to that particular time i have to you know utilize the hotel room service at that for example 8 o'clock morning 8 o'clock i have booked the room so i should go to the 8 o'clock so i cannot go to tomorrow or day after tomorrow 8 o'clock and consume the tourism service next one as an uncertainty in customers demand leverages this issue hotels and travel agencies tend to overbook available rooms and seats what do you mean by that see because customers you know demand will be fluctuating for example in rainy season so the hotel book will the demand for hotel booking is reduces so for summer season the demand for hotel booking will increases because they will get the leisure time and also children's families will get the leisure time they will visit to tourist places and also in you no know, festival season so hotel industry will you no know, will get the demand but in other season they will not get the demand next one inconsistency what do you mean by the inconsistency so product of the tourism industry always differ even the same hotel room makes different no whenever you go to the tourist spot so you'll get different experience isn't it so for example even though if it is a hotel industry service always you know inconsistent so the driver who provides the you no know, service driving car by driving the car he will provide the service so you cannot expect the same type of service when you visit to the same place or same hotel next time or understanding so that's why so hotel rooms in the same week with the same weather can be perceived differently due to the mood of the chef so even though the when you go to hotel so you may order same you now for example i order masal dosa today and today tomorrow's masal dosa will be differ because on the base of the chef 
on the base of the chef's mood he will prepare some day he will prepare very wonderful with with very wonderful taste another day it will not be tasty as previous day isn't it that's why so it will be different there will be difference next one our mood also when customers mood also differs we may get that much of satisfaction even though when we visit same place it always about the experience that the customer makes already explained to you even though our customer for example if you have any you know pressure from outside you may not enjoy as you enjoyed in the previous year for example i have visit to hampi so in the previous year i don't have any pressure so it may be pressure from the family pressure from any financial condition so i enjoyed a lot when you visit next time you may not get same enjoyment because of the no inconsistency that's why we call it as a inconsistency next one rational product attributes like price night of stay stay and additional services can only be compared to the minor degree so even though they provide other services with the core service so it may differs you cannot get more difference it may only changes small amount of change you can expect that's it next one so investment and immobility talking about the hotels and other accommodations there is a usually a big capital out lock up lock up in the assets so for example so building a hotel is a it need it needs very huge you no know, capital very huge capital and also once the capital is locked we cannot you no know, transfer that capital to to other assets and also if i for example in you know travel service if i invest in a bus or car so i cannot selling again car and purchasing other type of that is very very difficult so it is a capital lock so our whatever the whatever we the amount or investment we made that will be locked till we get the full you no know, recovery next one hotel always in furniture we, we we have to invest furniture restaurants tv sets laundry service pools other services invested is capital is only when we get the you no know, tourist more number of hotels rooms are booked then only we will get the profit otherwise we end up with loss next one people oriented so always tourism industry and hotel industry and you no know, traveling industry is people oriented so it is if if you go to hotel you may get you know manager will be there chef will be there and also you know restaurant other people's servants you know watchmen and drivers for the traveling industry so it always people oriented not you know product oriented the tourism industry builds entirely upon people so without people without general public or without people involved in the providing of service so we cannot provide the tourism service or any other service with a effective way for example if you go to you no know, trip for any other places we need we may need the guide facility and also if you go to hotel there we may need the servant we need cook we need hotel manager isn't it so we need other you no know, driver to travel from one place to another place so it is only people oriented next one the interaction between the staff and customers determines the pursued product quality so when that's why we need we have to improve the quality of the servants quality of the, we have to provide training for all the people who are involved in the tourism industry so that they can improve their quality of service how to improve the quality of service by building good rapport with the customer by understanding the customer's mindset by understand by providing the good facility and always we should ask sir do you need any help sir so can i help you so in what kind or in what in which way i can help you sir like that so always we should ask them if you go to hotel industry if you go to no for example in case of food and all so what type of food we can prepare sir so how we can you know improve your experience how we can you know satisfy with our food so these types of food we are available even though it may be non veg or maybe veg or maybe western food or maybe indian chinese food so in in which way we can satisfy our understanding so with you no know, since it is a people oriented with good you know gesture with you no know, positive attitude we can improve the customers experience next one unlike tangible products where the customers buy certain features and production in the product if you purchase product customers will be satisfied with the features of the product for example if you purchase mobile phone you are satisfied with you know its photo quality its material you no know, its you no know, network its features its color isn't it so we may satisfied with more feature but if in case of tourism 
how we can improve the quality how we can how we can improve the experience of the customer with having a good rapport good relationship with customers and also we have to understand customers needs and wants so why, for what purpose they have visited our place our hotel so in which way we can satisfy them in which way we can improve the you know, experience of the hotel customers isn't it now let's go to the next slide inseparable what do you mean inseparable here most travelers products are first sold and produced and consumed later so for example in case of products it will be sold first then it will be taken to home then it will be store, store for some time then we can consume the product but in case of service we have to provide the service at the same time it may be room service traveling service good experience when you visit the place other services when you go to other countries so always it should be provided at the same time consumed at the same time so clearly sets tourism apart from a tangible product it is a completely different from tangible product it is just an experience so good experience cannot be explained so when you buy new computer it is produced and shipped before you see so if for example if you purchase a computer mobile phone before you see the computer before you, you know, use the computer so it is produced at one place it is transferred from one place to another place it is stored at one place and it can be sold at one place and it will be used at one place so so many places it transported from production to consumption but in case of service we have to go to tourist place we have to go to hotel we have to go to get the service we should call the no car or we should book the car first then we can we should go to near to the car then we can get the service isn't it so here we cannot bring the hotel to nearby our home but we can bring the product to our home for example if you order pizza if you order pizza it will comes to you your home isn't it so but if you order hotel room can it comes to you no we have to go to hotel room we have to go to for example if you go want to go to venice in no italy if you want to visit italy italy cannot comes to you so we should go to italy and visit and we should experience so experience cannot be external isn't it so we should traveling it may be traveling experience it may be hotel experience room experience the food what we get even though we may get the food we may order the food for some next trend but in tourism it is a inseparable inseparable next one intangibility so whatever the service is always intangible we can consume the service but we cannot express we cannot see or we cannot touch the service so tourism is all about time spent and experience made so whatever the experience you get when you visit the place new place so we just only so it may be places like this seven wonders of the world so we can experience the places we can experience the you know language we can experience the culture we can enjoy the culture and talking to different people different culture different food system or different you know cloth system like that we should enjoy that but we cannot you no know, we can we cannot touch the product or feel the product like products so service can be enjoyable that's it so the products sold by the tourism companies both can't be produced and reused so it may it cannot be reproduced once we provide it again you cannot you no know, reuse the product so once you got the product you cannot expect same type of service again it will be different it may be doctor also it may be lawyer also it may be any other service provided we cannot expect same type of service again but product for example apple phone all series of for example samsung phone in that particular series all phones phones are same it may be color weight no other features are all same but in case of service even though you you know you are going to the same place now when you visit next place or next time same place the difference the experience will be different and the satisfaction will be different so every time you cannot expect same type of satisfaction sometimes you may experience more satisfaction sometimes you may experience less ex uh, satisfaction and it is not only depend on the places but it is depend on our mindset also next one nor can feeling can be consumption be captured to its full extent so feeling cannot be captured someone for example you and your friend visit to some place 
the person a will get more satisfaction person may b b may get may not get more satisfaction or understanding so the a person is positive mindset he will get more satisfaction the person b is not positive enough compared to a he may get not get that much of satisfaction it is dependent on our feelings also next one inflexibility so we cannot change according to our time according to our no usage so travel products are fairly inflexible in terms of fluctuation hotel cannot change their capacities quickly so for example in hotel there are 100 rooms so if the demand increases they cannot increase the number of rooms immediately is it it takes time to build the room even though no small changes they can do they cannot do, do the big changes immediately for example in car four members can go even though some small adjustment we, we can do but we cannot go 10 members in a car so the service whatever provided by the car only four to five members that's it and also room in a room only four to four members or three members can stay not more than that so it is very inflexible inflexible next one we cannot change the tourism industry quickly hence such companies try to balance between high and low demand so even though demand is high we cannot provide according to the demand so supply cannot be matched in during the time of demand and also demand will be changing according to the time season according to the weather in some time of natural calamities tourism will be no it will be in the negative point so if it is in the when it is a summer season it is in booming isn't it like that next one immutability what do you mean immutability so for example if we go to munar in kerala can you imitate this type of place anywhere no so no one can no copy the place no one can copy the experience what we get in that particular place particular hotel so ambience what you get in that hotel it cannot be no imit it cannot be imitatable or it cannot be no copy from by from other or copied by other competitor or understanding so like that so what are the if you go to nature experience so we cannot copy the nature so we just experience it or understand like that so offers and products by tourism companies are generally easy to copy now for example if you go to hotels they may imitate your no room they may imitate your no other facility food and all but the taste of the food cannot be no copied by them because the chef who prepared the food will be different so even though in our home only so for example one person if one person cook the food the taste will be different if another person cook the food the taste will be different like that in hotel also so the service is completely depend on the service provider for example hotel manager servants cook chef everyone will be involved in providing the hotel service and tourism service like that so it cannot be imitated by others even though by products we can provide same car we may provide but the driving style will be different same hotels and same room facility they may offer but the service facility is different the food they provide the taste of the that food will be different the ambience will be different understand understanding so when they have good rapport with the customer the customers will feel more happy so even though you are providing good facility you don't have good rapport good no no conversation with the customers with happy no with happy or smiley face with good gesture with positive feelings if you did not talk to the customer the customer may not feel good or satisfied enough in your hotel next one only to some extent we can change the or imitate we can imitate the products and service in the hotel industry but not everything next one segmentation of tourism so on what basis we can segment or we can classify the tourism industry first one the tourism market segmentation can be broadly divided into fallen types what are those geographical so on the base of geography for example on the base of geography for example it is a no hilly area on the base of hilly area or it may be no waterfall or it may be no desert or it may be snow area like himalayas and no and also it may be river flowing area or you know river nearby rivers or it may be forest like this we can divide or you can classify the no industry and also we can provide the service on the base of no geography if it is city we can provide no good hotels with multi star hotels 
if it is a water flowing area or maybe river waterfalls and other you no know, hilly area we can provide resort facility like this we can change the this factor important so as to tourist belonging to different places are brought up with different culture and show different traits and behavior next one demography so on the base of demography so what type of customers are coming to our product it may be students aged people so for example pilgr pilgrimage it may be temples and all you can expect no old age people family members like that if it is a hilly area we can expect youths college students if it is a industrial trip we can expect students if it is a resort and all so we can expect bachelors understanding and youths like this we can segment on the base of age marital status ethnicity next one occupation so religion so on the way and income on the base of this we can change next one physiography the marketing people do not do this segmentation by taking into the account of the physique of the tourist they gather information about the tourist interest attitudes and their mindset of the people physiography means mindset of the people so what how they are you no know, what type of enjoyment they need so what type of expectation they are having so are they, for example if they are coming from religious background and family members they we can go for you no know, temples and all if they are youths and all they can go for you no know, water flowing area hilly area waterfalls so you should enjoy playing with water isn't it like that we can so we can classify on the base of their mindset and interest next one class of tourist so for example on the base of their income on the base of income also we can divide so for example highly so first class tourist always prefer ac rooms always prefer ac transportation and a no very luxury cars and also they need luxury food but if you go to middle class people always they will go to budgeted hotels they will no travel in a budgeted transportation facility like that they will go like next one tourist and traveling with families so those who are family for example on the base of family they are going so we can only expect those visit places with their first and extended families and families of relatives one person generally head of the tourist family is the decision maker here the for example our father will be decision maker when you go to the when you go with the family if you go with friends so we all decide together isn't it like that so in the next session we will discuss on the segmentation of the tourism and also eight piece of the tourism till then thank you so much let's meet in the next session